Alrighty, welcome back. We're inside the car, just checking out the work. And uh, it's looking good, and I'm happy about it. Happy with Jolene's welds on the inside. Uh, very happy. I put a couple braces in here on the on Raiden's here, side here. I took a piece of angle iron, banged it on the ground, put a brace from there up to the post just to give it strength on the quarter panel. I did it on the other side. I give a little strength on that side, put a piece in there. I've yet to got to make a panel that goes from the B pillar to this piece to the wheel well. Got to do that yet. But I'm happy with what's going on the inside. It's looking real good um, compared to what it was. Um, I'm quite happy compared to what it was. Now I'm on the back side. You can see I got the back piece. I got this this uh, piece of metal welded across the back, the cross member where I'm getting out right now. It's nice and square going across there. It actually really delights me that it's that straight going across because you never know until you get to the back whether it's straight or not and it's going really good. Oh. We're on air. So basically what I'm gonna to do today, oh, Jolene's look amazing today. Basically what I'm gonna to do today is, is I have the wheel wells, I got the wheel wells tied in, I'm gonna show that. I got the wheel well, it's cut, I cut it off down here and weld it to the bottom of this panel. So now that's closed off. Just like I said, I kept saying that for many, many, many times I said that, but that's how it's closed off. I've got the other side closed off. Um, I got, yeah, it's looking real good. Both sides are looking, looking real good. It's nice to have the wheel wells in there. This wheel well looks good on this side. They both look good. They're, it's going well, it's going very well. It's gonna be nice. I'm gonna to have to get another fender. I've got one. So I'm not going to do the one fender today. I'm just going to, I'm going to make the roll pan in the back. And what's going on here, it's kind of a, you know, if, if you're not sure what's going on, I got I to gotta roll this way. And you can see this, I got to roll this way. That's quite a roll there, and it's quite a roll there. And I'm going to try to, well, I'm not going to try, I'm going to make it right in front of your very eyes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the easy way. I'm going to simplify it. And how I'm going to simplify is I'm going to show you as I do it. I got a piece of square stock. I got myself a sheet of metal. I got two pieces of square stock, actually. Um, basically, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I, I, kept, I keep thinking about it. I could have ran a piece of exhaust pipe down around there and tried to bend that around there and, and done that. Um, it's kind of hard to bend it is. I have to do a lot of cutting and that sort of stuff. So what I, what I plan to do is, is I'm going to, I want structure down here instead of just a piece of metal rolled down with a with a piece of with a metal lip i don't want more structure than that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to weld a piece of square stock from here to there so when i bring my metal down around i can attach it to the underneath of this square stock and have some structure um, if you don't know it or not but most ferraris are built with square stock and uh, don't tell jim we're building a ferrari <laughs> but <laughs> i shouldn't have made that joke it was good seeing Jim yesterday. Jolene did a fantastic job doing, her, doing his uh, brake pedal. I see he's got it all ground up looking fantastic. But uh, we're going to get to work on this here in a second. I'm going to put this piece in here and, 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 and get started. So what I'm going to do, I never even thought. I've got to get my grinder and stuff ready. I had that out front. Let's get rocking and rolling, man. Oh, grinder's over there. My little, my, my, my cat shear broke the little ear off the end of it i'm so sad I'm so sad i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to replace that because i like them they're just they're really good they cut nice they're not they're not they don't stretch the metal when you cut it makes me makes it nice let's get one of these bad boys going here and uh, we'll get started all right let's get down here let's get this to fit in here we'll weld this piece in marker. I must have say I enjoy these markers, whoever introduced them to me. I thank you very much. They, like me and Jolene said, I don't, we don't know if any, we've had one fail yet. And uh, we don't know if we've had one fail yet. I'll get it close and then I'll cut it again. Or I hope I get it close and cut it again. Man, it's gonna be close. I think we're gonna 
do it. Just gonna chop some off this. fit fairly decent. That's our fit fairly decent. Look at that now, would you? Better than I do most times. Now I'm going to turn the welder on. Let's just check this out for a second. Before I weld that on, what I'm going to do is I got it fairly square. You can see this piece going across here, the square stock going across the back. It looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is before I um, I'll weld, I'll tack one end, and then I'm going to try to make them look square as possible. So the, the roll pan itself is square as possible. And then we'll go like that. We'll go like that. It's looking good though. Not as good as Jolene, but it's looking good. Looking good. So that is the piece that we're going to bring the metal down around to tuck underneath. You probably knew that already because I told you. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. It's coming, it's coming, you know what I mean? Every day I come out and take a look at it, it's getting further and further and further, closer, I mean not further, closer and closer every time, like when we get the wheel wells back in it. Um, when, when, you, when you remember on the hoist, when me and Aiden are cutting the whole rear end out of it and the whole, end, the whole ass end falls out of it, you're thinking, wow, does he, do they, are they going to get it back together? Didn't take very long, you know, made a couple pieces. If you want to go on Facebook, you can see me and Jolene putting one of those, uh, one of those wheel wells together and uh, did not go on the YouTube because it was just a short clip that she made. She decided that she was going to short clip it. I'm going to weld this side first, I think. And the reason being is, let's see, and I'm going to do this by eye. This little, well, no, nope, I'm going to weld that side and bring that side down. That's what I'm going to do. Put my glasses on, Chetty. Put your glasses on. Oh, it looks nice and square there to me. Oh, pushed it out of the way. What I want it to do is just get that down to the bottom of this piece of metal. If I didn't get it down, when I put the metal on, then I'd have a, you know, it wouldn't be down all the way. Just looking at it. You're allowed to stare at it as long as you want to. I'm going to hit that with a hammer. Hello, Fina. So we're going to manipulate this back. We're going to make two bends out of one bend. Looks good. Looks good. In the previous repair, they put some heavier metal down in there, what I'm welding to right now, and um, I'm not taking it out because it's good. It's not going nowhere. It's got some good metal. Alrighty. 
Yeah, I'm just looking at that. That looks good to me. Going across here. Yeah, it might be. I could use measuring tape. Why would I want to do that though? Why would I want to use a measuring tape? Looks good. Alrighty, now I got the piece for the for the bottom to come when it comes down around. I'm gonna roll it underneath there and I'm gonna connect it down in here. It kind of leaves an envelope for stuff to get down in here. But as I'm looking at it, I see square stock here, I see square stock there. Um, from, the, from the floor, from this piece of square stock, it, we're going to run a panel on top of this that runs all the way up to the, to the rear end part, and that'll make a new panel there. We'll make that out of cardboard, or not cardboard, Bristol board first, and we'll make a panel there. And as I'm looking at it, look, we can make a panel from here down to here to close that off if we want to. Uh, we can make a panel from the front side down here to there to close that off if we want to. Finish this off on the side and then make a panel there so we can't get nothing down inside the back piece. Uh, we, there's a whole bunch of things that can go on here. We can make this panel um, after we make it, then we could French it and put a license plate in it. We can do anything we want to. But basically, this panel has got this shape and this shape. And uh, we're going to make it so, you, so nobody's scared of it. Nobody's scared of it. And the reason being, some people would want to. There's many different ways to skin the. Nope, not going to do that. There's many different ways to do this. You do it however you want to do it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. You take what you like and throw away what you don't. Basically, what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put my earmuffs on. And I'm not going to use any big special tools to make that piece. And uh, the, the more, the easier, or the more you can simplify things to make something. It's more pleasurable and more fun to be able to simplify it. Uh, just like the floor that we've made, we simplified. The wheel wells, we simplified. And the reason why I'm saying we simplified the wheel wells is because um, you can make that round edge on the top that comes around and, and rounds off to the other one, or the panel that comes up, you can round that edge and then round this edge and weld it together so it has a little round edge. To me, on this application, on this application, us simplifying it and making it a 90 and butt welding it together would make it easier to carpet. It would make it easier to do anything to it, to the interior. Um, face it, if it's round on that top edge, how much more work it would have ta taken and how would you cover it when you did make it round, basically. So basically now what I want to do is I want to get a piece of square stock in here to make this shape. Um, when I make a piece of square stock go from here over to there, there still has to be a, a rain gutter in there that connects onto this rain gutter, and we will do that after we get this shape. After. Get in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <give> me. <laughs> yeah. All righty, all we're doing is going for that shape right there. Basically, I can put it on the back of that and tell me if I got it right yet. Nothing to it. Fina's not liking that sound. But. A little bit more. There we now we're talking. Now we're talking our kind of turkey. Alrighty. As you can see, we've got our shape. Pat myself down. What I'm gonna do is, all right, on the ends here, we got a little different shape going on. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I'm just wondering, what am I wondering? See, I can take I'm just, I'm just trying to figure something that's what I want to do. This shape here is fitting that, that trunk lid not bad. I can take, no, it's fitting it awesome actually. I can take and cut that. I can draw, like trace that mark right there um, and put that in there and cap that. But I'm just kind of wondering with that piece down here, does it have this shape continuing on down there? That's what I'm wondering. Or it has this shape here or just thinking here for a second. It's got to go in there a little ways. I can't put my metal on top of that. 
and expect to have what I need. Also, I see that I need a little bit of shape going this way. I've got a little bit going on this way. I've got a gap going on there and none on the ends. So I'm going to have to whack it the other way and give myself a little bit of shape. But I'm just trying to figure something out, whether I want to, how I want to do this. But, but, but when that goes in there, it's going to go in too far. Two, two, two. I said it was easy, but I got to figure something out here. When I when I cut the ends off and shove the square stock in there, or I'm not going to shove it in there. Just... Nope, I'm not going to shove it in there at all. I can take this and cut this and go like this. I can draw that on there. Yes, I can. And then I can weld that on there. Just cap that in. That'll work. Just wonder if I want to do that or not. Stick with me. Stick with me trying to make up my mind. When I put my piece on, Let's go for it. Taking too much time on that situation. Not taking too much time, but trying to figure it out. I'm in the middle of the bend because the bend there fits the nicest. Sometimes the ends don't bend that well. I'll take a look at it again just to see if we're fitting good. We are. Let's bring it over a little bit. It all fits good along there. I can take it in a little bit, or maybe I should bring it over this way some. Actually, I like that better. We're more in the center of the bend. More in the center of the bend. X. X. Okay, let's do it. Jackson. Not bad. Come on now. Stick with me, stack wrap me. You can see we have more gap in the center than we do at the ends. I should have maybe bent that first because I don't want to bend. Now I'm going to bend the end probably, but I'm going to smack it. I'm just going to bend it the other way.
put it in just like that. We got a little bend there. Now we're looking good. I mean, Jolene's looking good. Okay, we'll weld that in there. We're getting for a nice body gap going there. We're gonna turn. We're gonna have to, have to turn that. All right, get our other grinder going. bow on the outside if you're building something. Got a nice little gap going on there. Love it. Gonna have to be careful when I put this apply the square stock on. If the edge is sticking out to hold my metal out further than my trunk lid, so I'm going to have to slide it in a little bit. Just have to be careful of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit off either end. That way there I can slide it in a little bit. Alrighty. Let's weld this piece on. And then we'll have our, our start. That's what we'll have. We'll have our start. I enjoy the knee pads that were given to me. All right. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to eye this up so my metal's on the inside of the trunk lid. So I want, I want this in a little ways. So when I put my face, my metal on it, it's not going to be out further than my trunk lid. That's what I want to do. Just going to spot it. Now, as I have that on there, now I gotta come over here and check this one out. We got a nice little gap going on there. That's a good little gap going on. Now, not exactly clean right there, but I'll make it clean here in a minute. All right, we got a nice little gap going on there. That's nice. Remember, as I, as I, you know, you look at it and say, well, it's quite a gap, but there can be a piece of metal that lays on top of that to make the rain gutter that goes in and wells across here and, and then up to, to make the rain gutter to finish that off. I got a piece of metal coming up here. Um, it's in there a little bit. I want a piece of metal to lay on the face of it and see what's going on. I'll break back. So if I take a piece of metal and lay on the top of it, that sure does shrink that gap up quite a bit. Just like primer does, just like Weldon does, just like body fill does, it shrinks the, the gaps. So if I lay a piece of metal on there and go from this piece down to that piece or what, yeah, I'm gonna have to. This piece here is gonna have a piece of metal going down here to this piece to fill that trunk panel in or finish it off. I mean, the trunk pan comes in, the floor pan's gonna come down to here, but I gotta finish it off and this is where it's gonna be finished to. So I'm gonna have it angled up here and welded on top of this. So that's a nice gap. When it comes time for this, see how this here, look, I'm going to leave a little bit on top of this for my metal for my trunk lid. Got to do that. I see them out here in the corners a little bit and I'm going to take a grinder. Uh, actually, I'm going to nail that on there because I'm really, I'm satisfied with what's going on there. I'm just going to clean this up. this on. I'm going to take the grinder, knock off this corner.
Now when the metal comes up on that, it's going to hit this edge first. Okay. When, and also when it hits this edge first, it's going to give me a little gap in between there. But I'm just going to lightly tack it, hammer it down, which will tighten everything right up. As soon as I put it on there, it hits this, and then start knocking that metal down. Like if the metal comes up like, where did I put that little piece of metal at? Did I throw it? Hit my leg. When the metal comes up, it's going to come around and come up. It's going to probably well, come up like this. There's going to be a little bit of gap there. But when I take a hammer and knock that in towards this square stock, it's going to make everything nice and tight down here. And basically that's what I want. I want it nice and tight and right. Uh, we can weld along the bottom after. We've got that there like that, like that. That's going like that. It's going like that. I'm happy with it. Just going to make sure I'm happy with it before I start shooting it. So. All right, we've got a nice gap going on there. Fantastic. Fantastic. So we're, we're on our start. We've, we've actually framed it up. And we've got a nice gap going all the way across to allow for other product to be applied. I got a piece of metal here. We're going to roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Pat it with a B for baby and me. What, baby? For me and you, baby. For me and you. Alrighty, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna roll a piece of metal. Actually, I'm gonna do this. You don't, know, you don't have to have a roller to do this. You do not have to have a roller to do this. You can put it between uh, something round, like a piece of pipe or anything. Like, you can, yeah, you can do whatever you like. Like, it's not, this is not, you don't have to have all this, you know, anything to make something, you know. I think I prove that every day with a grinder and a hammer, don't I? Basically. So I'm just going to get a basic shape going on here. So when I'm over there at the roller, I can, I can say, that's close. And then I'm going to just bend it right here. Because we're going to have a bend in it. And it's going to go and hit that square stock. Or that's what I want. And then we're going to tack it on the square stock on the inside, all on the bottom. And we'll just ply it up. It's almost like beam me up, Scotty. But we'll ply it up. We'll go from there. I mean, I'm going to say that's pretty close. You know, it's too long at the top, but that's okay. We'll take our piece of metal. Now you can take that piece of metal and put it in between something and roll it over top of a, uh, a propane tank or uh, an oxygen tank or anything. But I have the roller here, so why would I not? What a beautiful day it is here in Nova Scotia. Wow, we. Us, us Nova Scotians been waiting for quite a while for weather like this, haven't we, baby? It's been a long winter. It's been a long winter. Um, I'm going to get a small piece of metal, roll it first just to check it. Just to check it. We'll go there first. That's not going to hurt nothing. We'll go there first. Put our straight edge in. Hurt my thumb banging that metal. My thumb rattled my rattled my bone and my thumb rattled me. But that's okay. Cause I'm a big boy now. Where I'm supposed to be. Well, there's one. We'll do. We're going to do it again. Tighten her up a little bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> what, baby? What? Which one did I put in first? And it might be easier just, just to bend it than, oh, do I want to scratch them? Not bad. A little bit more. A 
a little more than, than, than we need, I think will be good. That way there, if I have a little bit more than I need, it'll allow pressure. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Baby liked that. That's why I did it again. My baby liked it. Made her smile, made her laugh, so I had to do it again. Just gonna take it back here and try it for a sec. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I see I got a mark. Set that right there for a second. Hope it don't fall off. I'm gonna bend that 90 on it right now. And the reason being is it's going on it. Maybe some smooth on the old camera, didn't you, huh? Smooth on the camera. Smooth on the camera. Let me take a look. I suppose it does not matter if the metal goes beyond the square stock. It does not matter. It does not matter because I can always trim it off. I don't know if I want it to or not. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to go rack. Inch and a quarter. No, we're gonna say inch and a half. Inch and a half. Just for you, me, me and you, baby. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Damn glasses. So we're gonna make two curves. Just one this way and one this way out of one round bend. Making it the easy way. And a half. Am I ready? Is that in my pocket? In my pocket. It would be nice to have a break to get a nice straight sharp corner or you know not a sharp corner but a I was going to say that that is center, but that's not in center with that. To me, it doesn't look that center. That's not center of that, is it? Maybe? No. no. I, mean, I didn't think so. Go here, center. That's what we're going to say. Close to it. I can measure it, but it doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. I like to have my shrinker in here. No, I'm not gonna have that's gonna be straight down there. That's what I, that's what I was talking about. Just gonna hold it over there and mark it. If I stop wobbling around here, I'll get it. that one. Let's we'll take a measurement here. Just for, see what's going on. Say 16 three quarter. 
17. I got a little bit long and that's okay. I'm gonna go 17. Team will do it. Little caveman-ish, but. I think he wanted. What? Where? He wanted the other line. What other line? At the top. This one? Yeah. I'm just making it a little bit long. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, just making it a little bit long. Did I want the other line? Ah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I'm making it a little bit long. I'd rather have it a little bit long, I think. Okay. I got the line crooked then. Didn't I? Mm -hmm. I got the line crooked then. Good call, sweetheart. Like I said, boy, she's not all good looks. Or she's all good looks. Or she's not all good looks. Let's get it together here, Chetty. I'm all messed up here for a second. I'm trying to run this through too fast. Seventeen and a quarter. Seventeen and a quarter. Thank you, sweetheart. A lot of brains in that lady. Not as straight as it can be. I'm gonna take these tape to straighten it out a little bit. Do 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 do. Straighten that out. I got enough to go in the center. Do do do. You know if that line's straight there, you know what I'm saying? Woo. It doesn't look straight, does it? <laughs> it doesn't look straight, but whatever. Um, I don't want to mess this up. I think I messed up already. I think I messed up already. And the reason being is, is my square, is my... It's gonna get longer here as I come out here for this for this piece. Do you know what I'm saying? Messed up already. Oh well. All right. Yeah, messed up already. I'm gonna cut that off, and I'm gonna readjust the bend. I'm gonna to have to. Oh well. Gotta just take a step back for a second. That's basically what I gotta do. I just take a step back for a second. Wasn't counting on I'm, exactly. You see what's going on. If I would have bent that and put that on there, mistake, mistake. All right. So let's do this. I want to have a piece of piece of tape. from the center. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm going to try to do it all by myself. But you can help me if you want to. I appreciate it. You can't blow my eye. Okay, I had to take a step back for a second, people. I had to take a step back just to... Alrighty. Now, when that piece comes in. Ha ha. Ha ha. Measuring tape.
That one's going to work on that side. But I'm going to have a measurement about... <laughs> have I got enough metal to do what I need to get done? I want that, still I want that shape, right? Say five inches. Hmm. Don't know if I got enough metal. So what I did is I hung that down there like that, and then I measured in. So because we're coming way out like this, I can't have that pulled in uh, to fit that. Um, so when I hung this down, it was about five inches from the paper into here so if i took and put i'm just gonna i'm just gonna fake this for a minute i'm gonna fake it so if i went there a little harder piece than i thought that's okay um no i can't do that because that piece is already bent and this is not Let's do this. Let's cut that off. I'm gonna get a new zip cut, get my gloves. I'm gonna cut that off and then try to make that piece. I could have taken, I can take, what can I take? I can take, I can make it out of paper first probably, might be easier if I take and make it out of paper first. Might be easier. Don't know if I should be guessing or not. Probably should make a paper pattern. Come on off, man. Where this that's where I got fooled up. Is because I've taken this is this is where I got messed up. This is where I've got messed up. Where I've taken this piece, I got this shape, and then I got that square stock way in there. That's where I messed up. If I was going to take it and, yeah, exactly. If I'm going to take it and put this piece on, that's where I messed up. Um, if I was going to take it, I should have bent this shape here, right? This shape around here with this shape. And then I could have done the two inch thing or whatever, inch and a half. But I did not bend that. I left that shape way inside. I left it way inside. Hmm. I can take, there's two different, two different things. I can, my square stock, see if I bent my square stock, this shape here, and then bent that around so it come around like this, then that would have worked. Where I just put that straight across, I've kind of messed myself up because now I can't use just one shape going across. So now I got a different thing going on. Not sure what I want to do right now. I got a piece of, that's where I messed up. That's where I messed up. I was wondering what I was doing there wrong there. What did I do wrong? I should have been another piece of square stock, that shape there, and then welded it down there and it would have come out around like this. And then when I applied this piece on, that inch and a half would have worked. I'm gonna cut that.
Yeah, if I was going to apply it on like that, that's what I was going to do. And I still might do it. But I'm just going to make a piece that goes, the pan that goes in the back. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. All right, so now. I've got enough metal there. I'm, I'm going to make it work. How's that? I'm going to take that bend out of it, and I'm going to make it work. That's what I'm going to do. All right. How much metal have I got there? I've got enough to do it, I think. I'm just going to turn this around, and I'm going to bend it on this end, and hope I got enough metal. I can cut this off the top. That's what I'm hoping. So I got to see how much metal I got there. That's what I'm going to do. What's this? All right. Recovery. Recovery. I hope I recover. It's called recovery. How much have I got? Five inches. Have I? Five inches. Let's do it. I'm going to cut this off, see what happens. Just go for it. Just cut it off. Now, <laughs> I might need it. Just going to bend it back. I might need it. Because I can always bend the end because i got to weld this. I gotta weld, I'm going to weld this end here where the little bend is to the top. Now I'm going to bend a new piece. I bent this only bent this an inch and a half because I did not figure out when I put the square stock going straight, straight across, I had to have it wider in the bottom than the end. If I'd made my square stock the same shape as I made the top, then I would, this would have worked. But I did not do that, so here I go. It's called recovery. Recovery. Sometimes it's a hard thing to recover from something, but... I'm going to try it. Why not? No, I don't want to go backwards. I want to recover. All right, so I just straighten that out a little bit. It's not quite straight as it should be, but I straighten it out a little bit. I'm going to get a measurement of five inches from the bottom. I'm not liking, liking the tape measure this way, but it is what it is. So, on one end, this is really going to stick in too far. I'm going have to have to cut some off. And on this end, I'm hoping that it reaches, basically. I want that on the other side. Having a hard go here for a second. I am. This is what I'm going to do. That's round. I'm having a hard time with the tape measure. So I'm going to do this. That's our piece of tape for the next one. Sometimes it goes like this, people. Sometimes it goes like this. Far enough. I 
pull it far enough to get that. I'm going to cut this off. sure that coming out far enough and then we'll cut slice and dice and make it work how's that that's what we're going to do we're going to cut slice and dice and make it work Alrighty. five inch cut that off got to remember what i'm doing there that's all put some gloves on and now i'm just now i'm just going to go for it because i've gone backwards and now i want to go forward so basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make it work, I guess. It's called recovery. Sometimes it's the most impressive sometimes. You know, when you watch a, you know, watch a boxer or, or a UFC fight, um, the guy gets down, makes a mistake, you know, then he comes back and wins. Nothing more, nothing more uh, inspirational about that than anything in the world, you know, just for someone to come back and recover. So I'm going to just going to tack and I'm going to pair vice grips. So you're watching me in, the, in uh, you're watching me recover. And like I, I think that I told you what the mistake was. I did not bend this round stock the same shape as the top. That's what the mistake was. But um, here we go. Put it in the center because that's where I want it, in the center. Because it'll look better when I weld it in the center. And then I can cut it down this end wherever I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tack it on here. The reason being because I want to I want to see if it's straight. I got to get across the back. I suppose if it, if I go up to the bottom, if I clamp the bottom, that would tell me if I'm straight. So I'm going to get another one of these. I'm hitting here. There, just want to back, take a look. I think I want to let the gotta cut that off and let that down just a bit. I think I'm gonna tack this edge. I like this edge, I think. No, I'm going to pick that up some is what I'm going to do. Don't like that tall. We're going to tack that on there because that's right on there. We're going to go for it. 
change my mind because I got this square stock going across here. Why not go with that? Why be so foolish? Why be so foolish? Just want to make sure I get this in the right spot. I like that. Now I'm just trying to get this pace going here. I want this to go down around like that. You know, I got I got to continue on with this shape. Now I got to get down, take a look. It's nice. I could I just want to see if I bring it all the way out. Nope. It doesn't look good all the way. Gonna go in here and tack this. Tack it on the top. <laughs> I'm gonna get my helmet on. Get out of here, anyways. Can he do it? Just put your brain to it. I think we're tacked. Sure, we are. Looks nice if you come over this way. Come over this way. See how, see I'm looking for this shape here. See how this shape's coming down and I want to continue on with that piece and down around, that's what I want. I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. This is what I want, this shape. You know what I mean, I want to continue on. Looks good. All right, now, let's, let's continue on with this bad boy. All righty. Straightens it out a little bit, it does. There we go, quite a bend on the bottom there. All right, need a zip cut. On the top, I'm going to leave it alone because I can hammer that in any time. I made this harder for myself than it really had to be, and that's okay. But that's what happens sometimes. No more square stock, and that looks good to me. I'm going to take this piece, actually. I should cut this off and get this one rolling. That's what I should do. That's what I'm going to do. Turn that off for a second. I'm going to measure, do the five inch measure on this thing, and I'm going to put the other piece on the other side. And then I'll start cutting and putting it on. Got me all myself all excited now, you see. Got myself all excited. Find something hard to measure, grab a piece of tape. I'm going to cut that off first, I think, before I bend it, because I don't need it, obviously. I'm not going to straighten it out, just going to cut it off. Oh, put the end back on. Could shear it off. Trying to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. And uh, I messed that up with doing it wrong. Second. I'm going to take a cut. 
about that. Slide that in. No, I can then push that in. Makes that out too far, doesn't it? Nope, it does not. Just looking at it for a second. Maybe I should get this one piece on, then bend that piece. So I'm gonna tack that on there. Hey, change my mind. Hope I get everything tacked on good. I don't want it to come off. If it comes off, then I'll be going backwards again. Just want to get this in there. Here we go. Yeah. Just gonna make this fit over in this corner here. Get it fitting somewhat. Got a square edge going on there. We're gonna to have to get rid of that. And it's gonna be have to be sliced. Sliced. <laughs> Everything good? Good. Now. It's all good. I got too much metal right here in the corner. So what I'm going to do, like I always do, when i got too much metal, I shrink it. And the reason how I'm going to shrink it is with the hammer and the grinder. And I'm, what I'm going to do with the hammer and grinder is I'm going to hammer one side in, and then I'm going to beat the other side over top of it, and then I'm going to shrink it. So basically that's what's going to go on there. So I'm going to, I'm going to this side here I'm going to hammer in. Actually, I should probably weld that first before I start hammering it. Beat it off. I'm going to hammer one side in this top, this piece here, into the, into the quarter, and then I'm going to hammer this piece over top of it, and then I'm going to slice it again, and then butt weld it back together. That'll be shrinking it. Right on. So, just to get that round corner. So I cut it there. Might even cut it a little bit further. I don't even know if that's the right way to 
it should look like there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it again, take some out of it. Just going to fit it back together. You can see how tight that's fitting there. I'm going to do it a little bit further because I want to round that edge off a little bit. Hmm. I'm going to pound it back together. I'm getting it. Just want to round it off a little bit more. see that it's fitting right back together how it so I can butt weld it back together I'm gonna run some off the bottom here I'm gonna lay on my mic too hard I'm sorry but I'm not sure if that's gonna hurt anything or not I'm going to try to bend that down I'm gonna get a pair of, I'm gonna tack that together first because it's looking good it's not as good as you Jolene but looking good having a little bit of an issue with this bad boy probably not as easy as panels I thought Oh, need a ground, but we'll get her. We'll get her. Just gonna spot that back together. If I have to take it back apart, this is bent up here inside a little bit. And I want to bend it down with a pair of channel locks. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's gonna make it easy and it didn't go so easy. Oh, there we go. There we go. That made me happy. Huh. That made me happy. Good. Cut that off so it goes down straight. this bad boy. Not bad. Not bad. Just want to take a little bit of this. I'm just going to leave that for a second. It's a bit sharp there, I know. Hmm. Just going to take it a little bit further. And the reason being is, is I can see it just a little bit further. Taking that out, and round it up a little bit. I'll butt weld that back together. That's going to work. Wow, it's going to work. I'm going to leave that there. It's going to work. Got to get the other side on.
how much time we got? How, what are we at? Don't know? Don't matter. Don't know, don't matter, does it, baby? Don't know, don't matter. I'm gonna cut this off. <laughs> really trying to recover this bad boy trying to recover this bad boy Woo! trying to recover watching real life struggle right here folks real life struggle 17 I'm gonna do 18 just because I wanted to I'm going to check something out here for a second, just before I cut that. If I put that on, I've got lots. Let's do this and then I'll know right there. i got lots. This quarter panel here is a little different here. That's lots. They're not lots, but. I had to make it hurt of myself, didn't I? Huh? Had to make it hurt of myself. You can see if I made it round, this, this square stock here, if I had made it round just like this one here, it would have been out to here. And then over that inch would have worked. Would have, but. So I don't know if there's anything to learn on this one. <laughs> it is to keep on going, I guess. That's to learn on this one. Just to keep on going. Basically, just keep on going. It's not looking bad. It's going, it's going pretty good, man. It's going good, man. Yeah, it's going real good. Awesome. All right, now we got the piece. I cut that end off. I need that tape mark. Where'd I put that at? That tape mark. There it is right there. Keep on going. Don't give up. Basically, that's what's going on right here at the present moment. I'm not giving up. I am not giving up.
trying to do to myself here. There we go. So basically what I was thinking, if I made it out of two pieces, like I'm doing right here at the present moment, that's how I was going to do it, make it out of two pieces. And I'm liking this side. <laughs> right there's what. Sort of a mess going on here, but let's face it, I'm trying to get her. Fill that full. That's the piece of the head in there. Now, this one over here, this quarter panel has got a funny little shape to it. It's come, coming down and going ugly. This one here kind of went down straight. But I'm trying to disguise it with a new piece of metal. And I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to do what I have to do. Just like you would. Do what you got to do. Now. I want to cut something first. over top of that one and I want to mark this one. How am I going to mark that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it and then cut it off. Scripts on this side. Stop it. want to cut this so I can get it to fit best. Actually, I'm going to do this. Try not to mess up the mic, but who knows? Is it okay, sweetheart? I 
knock it off. Good. Going for it, baby. I'm going for it. Going for it. Had to tack that back on there. Oh. There we go. Now I'm feeling good about things. Now I can tack that together at the center. I know I look all bunched up, but it is what it is. Ah, stay there. Stay if I can mold that damn thing together. I want that right there. That point. All right, I'm going to have to hold my tongue a little better, I guess. Damn it. Stop it. Self-situated here, I guess. Here we go. Get out. Anything to make it harder. There we go. I'm going to have to take a look at this really badly. What I can do. Quite a gap there. Don't like it already. The reason being is it hasn't got the same shape. I can knock it out some, I can. I'm gonna stand back. Nope, I'm gonna tack it on this right here. Yeah, that's going to work. It's going to work. Um, I'm going to cut this. And zip cut. What's that, sweetheart? Yeah. Just wondering if I'm going to be able to get that out or in. Or I want that out. I'm going to take a zip cut, zip that off. I'm going to pull that out. I got this one in too far. I got quite a gap going on there, but I'm not worried about that because I'm pretty good with a coat hanger, if you don't know. <laughs> That's no problem. The problem is, is I got one in further than the other, and I do not want that. And what I mean by is, this is what I mean. It's in further. That one's in further than this one. I want this one to come out a little bit and then tack it on. Come on now. Come on out. It tacked on real good, didn't I? There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pry that out and get it tacked down here further so I can. talking about. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Now, as it cuts on, I'm going to tack. Fly land on my face. Uh, 
going to tack that on there and then I can run the zip cut along. Cut the top of it off. Got too much going on up there, I want that off. And I just run the blade along with the other piece. Hope we don't have to cut it off. <laughs> Hope we don't have to cut it off. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Now we're going to round this edge, gonna cut this edge off for this one. Try to get it butted down along here. Go a little ways, see what we're getting into. And I'll just go a little further. in at the bottom. This edge off like we did the last, the other side. Do, 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 do. Shrink that there. It's out too far, so I'm going to cut it back like I did that side and just round it up a little bit. Beat one side in, overlap it. I'm going to beat the top side in. Overlap it and cut it again. Stand back and take a look at this thing because we're getting very close. I'm just going to cut it out just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. that together. Just 
shrinking it and I'll put it back together when it's over. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> that was a hard one. That was a hard one, people. That was a hard one. I'm going to take a coat hanger. I'm going to weld that back together, cut that up a little bit more, round it off a little bit. I'm going to get up in here and butt weld that all together along the bottom. We're looking. It looks a little different because I got it cut different on this side because that's how that piece comes down. That's the piece they made. I'm going with it. Once it's all welded on and filtered together, you would never know the difference. It's just that it's this one straight down. This one was curled over a bit. That's okay because I can see past it. Coat hanger. Whoo, that was a rough one. Whoo, whoo, that was a rough one. Just a little gap going on here. And I'm going to put a little weld in it, fix it up. So I'm going to end up cutting, well, end up knocking this in with a hammer, tapping it in, get it fitting up there nice like that, all the way down along there, get it fitting nice, get it welded up, get it ground up, and uh, it looked like a million dollars. Got to come back, round that edge off a little bit more, I see. And we know one thing for sure, we're going to have penetration. That's one thing for sure, we're going to have penetration. The reason I didn't overlap it there. because I was all right with welding it up. I was all right with welding it up. Whew, that was a hard one. That will tighten that up. Not that it needs to go any tighter. The only reason I did that, because I liked how it worked on the other side, I like that. It was nice to weld that. Like that. Worked out nice. I thought I'd do it this way. Let's try it. That's why I did that. Hmm. Feels pretty good. Push that in. Lose my head right now. Where do I have that push bar? Ah, lose my head, I said. I'm going to top that off just because I like it cleaned up a little bit.
knock that back a little bit further. Yeah, we'd have to knock that off. Alrighty, I'm down on my mic. Ouch. We got her that time, baby. Beautiful. Nice little gap there. We got it recovered. That's nice and that's rounder. That's better. That's better. Dun, 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 dun. Have the coat or the hair ready. Alrighty, woo, that was a rough one. But you know what? I made a mistake starting out. And the mistake was not doing the rat doing the, the rat the square bar down here. That was my mistake. And then I could have used that inch on the bottom and put that on there because you can see what I got going on there now. Um, what can I say? Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll keep finessing it. Like I said yesterday, these cars go together, not like Lego. <coughs> Um, there's no textbook to say how to do that. Um, basically, I'm trying to do it as quick as possible in front of your eyes. So I've got a little bit here I can cut back. I've got to weld this up where I shrunk this, where I took that out. I've got to weld that up. I've got to weld all the way along the square stock. I'll probably just spot it along the square stock. I'll cut it and spot it on the inside. I see if, if I need any more shape, I'll be able to go in on the inside and just maybe tap it with a rubber hammer or something if I need some more shape there. I don't need a whole lot, but I probably would like to have a little. It's not bad, actually, if you want to come over here and take a look. It looks really good, actually. So basically, to get a shape, you know, in the end, I wanted to show how easy that was, but I made it hard on myself by doing what I did, not paying attention. But basically, um, to do something like this, make a, a curve this way, and then cut it in half, and make the curve go the other way. So basically I made this curve, then I made this curve by cutting it in half and splicing it together, butt welding it together. And generally what you do, generally what you do, or what I do is put one piece on, get it on this angle, then I get this on, put this one on this angle, and then you, then you zip cut them together and butt weld them together. Well, um, I worked a little harder at this one than I usually do, but I got it on there and I'm gonna have to work a little harder to get it finished but basically that's what's going on to get the compound to get it going this way and this way I did it on, I did this way on a roller and I made it go this way by cutting it in half so now I have to finish welding it and playing with it um, if I feel like I need any shape to it I would just go in behind and give it a tap with a with a rubber hammer inside there if I need any more shape but it's looking pretty good um, and I have two different angles going on this side, so it makes it look a little bit funny because this one's angled out a little bit because I said that was. Wasn't changing that because I'm putting that on. But uh, there you go. That probably could be banged in a little bit, maybe. See what happens. We'll keep playing with it. All right, everybody. Oh, we're going to give away a hat or a shirt, are we not? We're going to give away a hat or a shirt. That was a good day of struggle, that was. Whew, that was a struggle. That was a real life struggle. I'm going to hit it a few more times with a hammer. I'm not going to dent the, the piece up that I made, but I am going to hammer it around a little bit, trying to get the corner in fitting better. Yeah, that was a rough one. Generally, I tried to make that easy, but I didn't. I made it hard. Three hundred and forty nine comments. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate you coming back and watching the true life struggles. Herb Lorenz. Thanks for making a comment, Herb Lorenz. Living the dream with Chad and Jolene. 
Well, if you're living the dream with me and Jolene, we're living the dream with you. We want to thank you very much. You get a hat or shirt of your choice. You just have to contact Jolene and uh, come back tomorrow. I hope I don't struggle so much. <laughs>